All right, guys, HBFC here, and welcome to the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening finale. So, yes, only one thing left to do, and that is, of course, to wake the goddamn windfish. So, let's not delay. On we go. But before we actually head to the egg, just going to make a quick stop in uh, the village. So, we'll... Uh, Head through the uh, mysterious forest. Isn't that like we haven't been in here for a while, doesn't it? I've gone the wrong way. So we're going to uh, go to the library here, actually. You don't actually need to do this. It's possible to progress without doing this, but you, you, you're supposed to do it, really. So yeah, this bottom book here at the right says, Dog Secrets and Mysteries of Coilant. Do you really want to read it? Well, yes, I want to read it, so I opened it. Round and round the passageways of the egg. So there you go. Right, 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 up, 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 up. You want to write down whatever you see here because it's it could be different. There's there's a few different, um, like maybe three or four in total that it could be. So yeah, you probably want to ram down because you need it. So yeah, right four, up four. Got myself a very simple one there actually. Easy one to remember. In fact, to be honest, probably one you don't need to uh, really write down, but... Watch me, uh, I'll have forgot it in the next five seconds. Okay, I've already forgot it. Anyway, to the egg. To the egg. Right, we'll play, um... Let's warp song. we go. It's finally time. There is the egg. So we have all our instruments. Here we go. Alright, in we go. Here we go inside the windfish's egg. So we just want to move forward here and then jump into the darkness below. Alright, so here's what that uh, book was about there in the library about the direction. It's giving you the direction of this um, little maze here, otherwise, it's just going to keep looping. And I remember I didn't go to the library, I didn't know you meant to go to the library as a kid. 
and I just was randomly moving around and accidentally somehow got the right sequence. So, <laughs> can't remember how long it took me, it must have been a while, but I looked out big time. So yeah, it can be a few different options. Um, you could have uh, left, left, up, right, right, up, left, up, right, up, up, right, up, up, right, up, uh, left, up, right, up, left, up, right, up, and I've got um, right, four, up, four. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, and up, four. And there you go. Alright. So it's now time to face the final boss. Here we go. We were born of nightmares to take over this world. We made the windfish sleep endlessly. If the fish doesn't wake up, this island will never disappear. We would have been the masters of this place. But you had to come here and disrupt our plans. <laughs> you can never defeat us. Let's rumble. Alright, here we go. First form. It's a giant blob. Right, what you want to do here is uh, sprinkle some of your magic powder on it. One. Two. And three. And that's that one done. Alright, now we got Agnum Shadow. So just like it was in Link to the Past. Well, almost. Just gonna shoot these beams at you. Just wanna hit them back. But there's one he throws, it's like a, a cross shape. Um, that one you can't hit back, you wanna get out of the way of it. And we just wanna hit back at him. Oh! A bit slow there. There we go. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, okay. There's the uh, the cross one. Forget if you can deflect to your shield. Possibly, I'm not sure. I'll assume not. Okay, there he is. That's that bit finished. Next form. Moldorm Shadow. So we've seen before, you just want to attack the tail. Again, it's not too hard. He does move pretty fast, but... Nothing that should cause you any major trouble. He doesn't too... Uh, do too much damage. There you go. Next up, we got Ganon Shadow. Right, he's going to shoot his fire bats at you. Yeah, and then I'll throw his uh, staff thing at you, whatever it is. I'll whack him with some spinning attacks. Again, he's not too hard. I'm getting hit a lot here, but it doesn't matter. If you haven't got the blue tunic, be a bit more careful. Oh, missed him. There we go, that's that form done. Alright, now we want the um, magic rod. This is a lamb mauler. Just want to hit once on the head. Boom. Right, here we go, the final form. So, uh, Dethel, I think it's pronounced. D-E-T-H-L, -D -E I think it's Dethel. Something like that, anyway, but... This could be tricky, I, it took me quite a lot of times uh, to beat this skid back in the day, but... I'm gonna get the Born Arrow and Rock's Feather. I right, just wanna jump over his swinging arms. Hopefully it doesn't... Move into you like that. He does do quite a bit of damage. But you want to wait for his eye to open there and then shoot an arrow in his eye. Or, if I remember, I think it's one boomerang kill and he's done, but I'm not going to do the boomerang method. I'll do the arrow method. Okay, 
was always this form I struggled with. Quick enough, you could maybe get like two or three hits on him. Keep trying to jump over his arms best you can. It's easy if he doesn't move towards you and like backs you into the wall. Which he usually doesn't do, to my experience, but. There you go, three times there. Okay, now his arms are gonna be a bit faster and not exactly in sync. He's so gonna have to jump twice. That's basically all there is to it, to be honest with you. And there you go, that's it. This island is going to disappear. Our world is going to disappear. Our world, our world. we go. There he is, the windfish.
All right. And the credits roll. Yes. Finally out of the uh, Windfish's dream. So the island disappeared and everything on it. So it was all a dream. The credits are screwed up there. That's just an emulator issue. I don't know why, but they're not supposed to flicker like that. But yeah, I really like that ending. That's really good. And it's just a, it's a phenomenal game. Still all these years later, whether it's the original Game Boy or, you know, the DX Game Boy Color version, it's absolutely brilliant. And you know, it was a big part of my childhood. So many great memories. And I'll probably beat it over 10 times now, I reckon. It's, it's so good. Easily my favourite Game Boy and Game Boy Color game. It's absolutely fantastic. I love it. And, oh. Can't wait for the remake. So glad it's getting remade. That's just amazing. But here we go. I'm getting a little bit of extra at the end now because I beat the game without dying. So you get the perfect ending, I guess. There goes the windfish. Could have given us a ride. Jigoro Miyamoto, absolute legend. He created Zelda if you didn't know. The end. You see Marion and then a seagull. Remember she said it was a dream to uh, be a seagull, weren't it? And fly or whatever. I mean, was it all a dream? Who knows? Look at that. Development team would like to thank you for playing. It was my pleasure. You're welcome. Yeah. Awesome game. Awesome game. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, Link's Wait in DX on the Game Boy Color. Absolutely brilliant. And well... What came next? We all know what came next. The greatest game ever made. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you later.